Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I am going to be reviewing, trying and doing a tutorial on the new Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Powders, these little beauties here. Now, I have got two shades. I got Blondie and Banana Bread and I have them on my face right now. Can you even tell that I have powdered my face? Because I don't know if I can tell because this stuff is like magic. I don't know what Huda Beauty has done and what she has put in these but oh my goodness because you're going to see the full review if you keep on watching make sure that you guys subscribe to my channel before you go anywhere you need to be subscribed to my channel well, you don't need to be but it would be really nice and I would really appreciate if you were subscribed to my channel so hit that subscribe button if you guys want to see how I wore these powders have I used them then keep on watching and I hope you enjoy the video. Hey guys, so I'm gonna get straight into the video and try and use these new Huda Beauty loose powders. I'm so excited to use them. I've seen reviews everywhere. I've seen people on Instagram using them everywhere and every single person that I've seen using them says that it's like amazing and it's like it's I, I need to try it to know myself but everyone has said it's amazing so I'm excited to try this. First what I want to do is give you guys a brief description on these loose powders so that you have a little bit more information about so, it. These are the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Powders. Okay, so on the Selfridges website it says, Huda Beauty's Easy Bake Loose Powder is a key step in achieving flawless, long-lasting, melt-proof makeup looks. Packed with ultra-refined pigments, this extremely light and silky texture blends seamlessly into the skin, leaving it matte with a hint of sheen. Mm -hmm for a luminous finish that can show shine throughout the day while diffusing the appearance of pores and fine lines. I think that's a good brief overview. So, I got two loose powders because I couldn't decide what one I was going to be and then she put the chart up on her Instagram or her, her website and it said what powders to use for what skin tones and it also had um, what powders to use based on the foundation and I previously have got her foundation when it came out um, and I was in the shade brown sugar so for that shade it said the powders that would match that foundation is banana bread and blonde uh, banana bread and blondie so that's the two shades that I got I'm gonna try the lightest one under my eyes the darker one I'm gonna use to like define my contour I think that's gonna work I hope that works but we'll see I love this box that it comes in it like opens up and it says freshly baked inside. I just love that little touch to it. And as you can see guys, I've already I've done my eyes. I went in with the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remastered Palette. I've done my face as well. So I used the Huda Beauty foundation and I just went in concealed and contoured. So I literally just need to go in and put powder. I also need to add lashes and things as well, but we're gonna powder first. Banana bread and blondie. I love the packaging. I love how like all her packaging is like so sleek. And like it's just I love the packaging it's like the foundation like the foundation actually I just noticed the foundation actually matches the powder it's got the black lid this has a black lid plastic bottle and this is a plastic tub as well so I love how it matches and it's got Huda Beauty on the front there and this one's got it down the side so I love how all her packaging is like matching previous products that she's had before I think that's a good touch to keep everything like consistent like that I think it's quite nice on the right hand side is banana bread you can see that that's slightly lighter this one here and the bottom is blondie and that's slightly darker I literally haven't even opened this brand new so if I open this little oh Oh my gosh, this smells beautiful. I just got like a whiff of like some beautiful scent. This smells amazing. So this is a tub. This is how it comes. So it's got like a little net kind of thing. So when you tip it upside down, some of the powder comes out, which is quite good that it's not like completely open, like the Laura Mercier powder. When you tap it out it kind of goes everywhere so this is quite good to keep it like contained and like not make as much mess hopefully. Beauty Blender. Oh, I'm liking the shade already you know. Okay so we're gonna go in with Banana Bread under the eyes. And I'm literally just gonna 
table de ce mes m'appuie et Twender. I didn't think it was going to be as light as this. I just love the bacon look. I just love it. I'm going to go in with Blondie, which is this more yellowy, golden toned. Quite like this as well. This one I'm going to put um, around my mouth. Okay, that was a lot of powder. And I'm just going to... One thing I'll say about this powder... I literally went in with one dab and it's going like really far. I don't know if powder can be pigmented. Is that such a thing? But I feel like this is like really pigmented. Look how much is on my beauty blender and look how far it travels. Girl. I'm going to put some on my forehead as well because I do get a little bit oily up there. It says to leave this on for 3-5 to five minutes. I feel like it's already been on for a minute already so I'm just going to time 4 minutes. I'm actually going to put a timer on for this because I just want to see what's going to happen after these 4 minutes. So, we will patiently wait. Okay guys, so that has been slightly longer than the 4 minutes because I put lashes on so... The moment of truth, let's see. Oh wow. I don't know if you noticed that already, but as soon as I wiped it off my nose, look how much is bright in that area. And it doesn't look ashy. Oh my gosh. This feels amazing. It feels so soft. Okay. Here it goes. Wow. The thing I usually dread the most about powders is when you take them off. Sometimes they can leave your skin looking ashy or it'll leave like a white cast and it just doesn't look right. This feels incredible. It has literally just smoothed everything out under my eyes. I have annoying eyes so my eyes crease no matter what I do, no matter what makeup I'm wearing and no matter how much I powder, my eyes, under eyes, always, 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 always crease. So that's definitely not down to the powder. Sometimes when I put powder on, because it leaves like a weird cast, I always bronze on top after because I'm like, oh, it doesn't look quite right. I feel like it's changed the foundation shade. But this has literally stayed the same. It looks amazing. It's defined the contour. It's definitely, definitely brightened up my under eyes. Like, it looks a lot brighter than what it did before. You see it as well, when I took it off my nose, it literally brightened up my nose contour, like, instantly. I think Huda Beauty done it. I think she done it. Hey guys, so, I'm back. Finishing look, done. I am loving how this powder looks. I'm gonna come closer and show you exactly what it looks like under my eyes and in the areas that I put it. I feel like it looks flawless and with the foundation, I just feel like it works so nice together. Like, it's like the two products literally just blended together and like created some like amazing blurring effect or something. There's no ashy look. There's no like, colour of the powder on my face. It looks flawless. It looks really, really beautiful. I am loving it. I'm going to come closer so that you can see what it looks like up close and personal. And yeah. That is the end of the review today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed my review on these products. If you have, then leave a like, comment and subscribe and I will see you for another video.